We're told that Bernard tracks the profit for his business for five months. The function p of x, and p of x is defined by all of this, models the amount of profit for Bernard's business of dollars, p of x, over x months. The transformed function d of x, which is p of x minus 4, so essentially you just get rid of this plus 4 up here, models a different profit scenario. What is the best interpretation of the range of p of x as compared to d of x? So pause this video and think about it, and then we'll think about this together. All right, so let's just remind ourselves what range is. Range is the set of all of the possible outputs from a function. Or you, if you think about it in this graph form, it's the range of all of the possible y values. So let's write, let's make a little column here. Range, and we have two functions here. We have our original function, p of x, and then we have our new transformed function, d of x, which is p of x minus 4. So first of all, p of x, what's the range of y values that it takes on over those five months? So it looks like this minimum value right over here, I'm going to eyeball it, but I'm going to estimate it. Looks like it's about 3,500. Ideally, they would have told us exactly that. But it looks like, well, actually, it's not a profit of 3,500. It's a loss of 3,500. It's negative 3,500 here. And over the five months, the function would keep going, but we are bound. The domain, I guess we could say, is from 0 to 5 months. So at five months, it looks like we are at, what is this? Looks like about a, halfway between 11 and 12. So this is $11,500. So the range looks like it gets as low as, including, so that's why I'm putting a bracket here, $3,500, 3,500. Actually, let me not put a comma there. That might get confusing. $3,500. And it gets as high as 11,500. Oh, I said I wouldn't put commas there. $11,500. And now let's think about d of x. d of x is essentially at any given one at the low point or the high point, everything is just shifted down by 4. So this right over here, this is 4,000, 4, uh, yeah, this is listed in thousands of dollars, yes. So this is why. So thousands of dollars. So this is not just down by 4, it's down by 4,000. So this is negative 7,500. So the low point is negative 7,500, if I'm estimating correctly. And the high point, it looks like it is, it looks like it is $7,500, which is 4,000 less than 11,500. So 7,500. So the best interpretation of the range of p of x compared to d of x, you could say, well, the range gets shifted down by $4,000. The low point is 4,000 less. That's when the businesses has had a negative profit. And then the high point is $4,000 less as well.